Hello guys and girls and welcome back to Subnautica. So here I am roaming around trying to find some stuff to research and then something hit me. See that spaceship right there? Yep, this huge monster of a ship called Aurora. Well, we never actually got into the ship yet and I know we can, some of you guys asked me to. So guess what, it's time we check out Aurora and hope we can find something cool inside. Some blueprints would be nice, but first, we need to make some grow beds. I'm tired of chasing fishes around. Now, as you can see, my base is changed a little bit. It's somewhat bigger. I had to make it bigger because some of these big rooms, such as multi-purpose room, can't be constructed too close to other rooms and corridors. So I ditched a hashtag looking base for a cube looking base. I placed all my materials, chests and workstations inside this multi-purpose room. And oh man, now I know why it's called multi-purpose room. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. I also made another multi-purpose room right here, but I haven't placed anything inside yet. Maybe we'll find something inside Aurora. In the meantime, I have a message waiting for me. Yep, there it is. Radio, play a message. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, another life pod. Really? <laughs> I thought I was getting rescued. While I was expanding my base, I thought where I should put my grow beds, and I thought of perfect spot. In the middle. See this huge empty chunk? Yeah, it should fit some grow beds. Filled with oxygen, let's see what we can make. This is indoor grow bed, I need outdoor grow bed. Exterior modules, yeah, there we go. Exterior grow bed. Now, as you can see, it's not too big, so it should fit quite a lot. This is gonna be tricky. I want to fit in as many grow beds as I can. But the problem is, I have nothing to place in those grow beds. I mean, <laughs> I have no seeds. Oh well, we will find some. We just have to place these damn grow beds. Stop moving. There we go. Exterior grow beds all around my base. And it's already night. Great, I need to make some floodlights. One in each corner. Do I have a, another message? Oh, I do. Let's see. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, uh, how many of... I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? We're a six-seater, and we aren't even slightly equipped to handle this? Our pilot last attempt at a planet landing in the Academy Simulator? Oh, it's a bad situation, but so are all the alternatives. What? What the hell happened? Am I getting rescued or, or what? <laughs> I told you guys, it was too good to be true. Oh no, <laughs> there's a problem. My whole strength total now is 0 0.5, and the glass window takes 1 HP. So... <laughs> This is gonna be a problem. Okay, zero, minus 0 0.5. Oh, shit. Can you hear that? Oh, it's taking damage. No, deconstruct. <laughs> so, two windows it is. Fine. Hey, 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 what the hell is happening in here? I'm flooding? What? No, 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 no. Where are the holes? Where are the holes? Oh, my God. Dude, I'm flooding. Hardcore flood. Oh. This is it. I need to fix this one. Okay. Is it done? No? I'm still flooding. Oh my god. Where are the holes? Where are the holes? Come on, man. Show yourself. <gasps> nope. Power fix it. Restored. <sighs> Draining systems initiated. <sighs> that was close. Okay, I won't be playing with hull strength anymore. Now I know what it does. Hmm. I'm not sure if they are growing at all. Maybe they are, but I'm just not seeing it. Anyway, we're gonna go around and find a bunch of plants and just cut them with our survival knife. I forget about something very crucial to our quest. Oh, look at that. We got two shadows and a huge shadow of a fish. <laughs> anyway, in the last episode we found the blueprints to grow bed on, the, on an island. Not this island, but another island. But on those grow beds, I also find a bunch of fruits and vegetables. I remember, how was the name? Marble Melon, yes, Marble Melon. <laughs> I can't forget about that name. 
here we are on the second island. God, I love this island. It's so cool. All right, where's my damn knife? There we go. Nope, I didn't put it. Did I just throw it? Yep, I did. Here it is, survival knife. All right, bulbo tree. Give me some seeds. Yes, give me all the seeds. Found you. There they are. Oh, yeah. I forget about these damn crabs. <gasps> die, crab. Die, 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 die. Where are you going? Come here. Why don't you die? There. I can hear another one. He's probably inside. Never mind. Let's get these. Oh, Chinese potato. You know what? Bobo tree. Oh, they're already rotten. <laughs> Let's just throw them. I don't need them. Okay, so Chinese potatoes. Let's take as many as we can and marble melons. Inventory full. Of course. Of course they are. What gives more? Marble melon gives H2O. You know what? Chinese potato is nice and all, but marble melons rock. I mean all those marble melons. Oh wow, really? I just teleported. Totally fair game. Totally fair. My weed grew up. <laughs> now I can see they're growing up. So let's use the planter and old Chinese potato. Old marble melon. What? I picked them up five minutes ago. Consume. I don't want to consume them. Can you? Oh, these are not seeds. They're just edible things. I went all the way back to that island and back here without any reward. Great. <sighs> At least I get a nice meal. Oh no, I'm such a moron. I never felt so dumber in my life. All I had to do was hit it with my knife. Wait, this even rhymes. Oh, so dumb. All right, Marble Melon, get in there. What the hell? It's not working. It's not working, why? Oh, don't tell me the outdoor grow bed doesn't work. I have to make the indoor one. I guess our new multi-purpose room has a purpose after all. Growing marble melons. Indoor grow bed. There we go. Now, one in the middle. Just like this. There we go. And just put some marble melons inside. And they are growing. We're done. I went through so much trouble just to get this thing. But I finally got it. I wasted enough of your time. We need to go to Aurora. But first, we need a few things. Some food and water. Some water, there we go, and rotten cooked spade fish. Nope, <laughs> I'm not eating that. Food minus 25, H2O minus 25. Hell no. Now, we need some fire extinguishers, of course. Tools, I think I have one. Yes, I have one. I'm not sure if we need another one. You know what, just to be safe, let's craft another one. Personal, tools, equipment. Fire extinguisher. Here we go. Two fire extinguishers. Now that should be enough to cover some of the fire inside. And the final step, never go without fully recharged batteries. Give me that stuff. Um, this one is empty. And, oh, wow. I got four fully charged. Great. All right, it's time. Let's go. There it is, Aurora. Look at the size of this spaceship. It's huge. Now, the biggest problem is, I have no idea how to get in. So, we're just gonna have to improvise. I'm gonna go to the back side first, then we'll go to the front. This is the back entrance. I hope it is entrance. Whoa, this is so creepy. What the hell? What the hell? What is that? Get away! No! Get... Ah. What? What is that? Look at the size of that thing. Okay, I think this is not the entrance. Definitely not. Not with this thing guarding it. Just a quick supply run before we get in and open sesame. Battery, another one. This is awesome. Oh, I saw a fish. Mind your damn fish. Get away from this place. Yes, bugger off. <laughs> and you go like a chicken, you run even though you're swimming. Anyway, I saw another chest right here. Another battery. Are you kidding me? I got how many batteries I got? One, two, three, 
four, five, six. Six batteries. Why is the screen shaking all the time? <laughs> Such a stupid fish. Get away from here, you damn horror fish. Wow, I don't think they're smart. So the front, it is then. Yep, this definitely looks like an entrance. Whoa, the whole ship is like falling apart. It's so cool. Look at all these fires and stuff. I just hope I don't have to extinguish them all. Here we go, the entrance, more or less. And of course, they are guarded by a bunch of these crabs. Damn crabs, I hate you all. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I'm close to dying. I got a few of these first aid kits I got from the supply run earlier. Where did you hide? Hey, come back here. Oh my god, stop hitting me. I can't even hit him. Look at it. It's retarded. Just... <gasps> There you go, dead. Another supply crate, power cell, another one, I got two. <laughs> this is awesome, I get so much power, limitless power. Yes, yes, did you die? Finally, that was the last of them, dude, they are so strong to kill. All right, finally, let's get into this ship. Okay, can we even get into this ship? This thing looks like it's barricaded. Oh, never mind, we can. Okay, we are inside of the ship, and of course, we need a fire extinguisher. But first, let's open this thing. And another battery. <laughs> I got so many batteries, man. All right, um, fire extinguisher, yes. Give me that, or yep, there, and there we go. Two fire extinguishers. Now, let's extinguish this fire. There we go. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that small little fire. Okay, we are inside and I did bring my flashlight. Okay, we need to put this sea glider right here so it can provide some lightning. There we go. So, what the hell do we do now? There's another chest right here and another battery, of course. Wow, so many batteries. And there's another chest right here. Wow, what? Electricity inside water. That definitely looks dangerous. Damn electricity, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh my god, there's another one right there. Where the hell do we go? All right, let's try to go around. Don't kill me. Oh, wait, I survived. Great, now there's a door right here and there's a, what is this? Oh, we need a key. Three, 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 three. Of course it's not. <laughs> okay, can we interact with this? Sealed door, cut open to access. I don't even have the cutter, so what do we do now? Oh, there's a PDA right here. Maybe it gives us access. Data back entry. Okay, let's see what we got. Lab access, codes. Yes, codes. If you need to tweak your equipment, please use the mod station in forward section. Okay, code. 6483 6483 oh my god close 6483 it is finally ah, i thought we were done for okay what the hell is this lab i, I guess pick up electron microscope 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 non-functional what non-functional all right what is this? Sample analyzer, non-functional. So, is anything functional around here? Data terminal. Repulsion canyon. Near blueprint acquired. Great. What the hell is that? Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. What? Repulsion canyon. Oh, there we go. Oxygen. Applies oxygen. What? Oh my god. I totally forgot about the oxygen. Jesus Christ, no, 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 don't, don't suffocate. Oh, that was close. <coughs> oh my goodness, I totally forgot about that. I'm sorry, dude. All right, doors, what are you hiding, huh? Show yourself. What? Wait a second. I came from here. What? I did a circle. Oh, no, please don't tell me I need the cutter to get into this. <sighs> 
Looks like I'm gonna have to go back to the base and make that damn cutter. If I even have the blueprint. A laser cutter. Ingredients unknown. Zero out of three. That's just great. I guess we have to learn it if we want to get inside this ship. Moonpool! What? Acquired. It was here all along, right next to my base, like 236 meters. You know what? Screw Aurora, we need to make one ASAP. Moonpool, vehicle docking bay, minus 5 HP. Really? I have to make two or three foundations just to make one moonpool. This is crazy. But I'm gonna have to do it. One foundation right here. Plus two to base hull strength. Total now. 4.5. You gotta be kidding me. I need 0.5 just to make a moon pool. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna deconstruct some of these windows. That's gonna be my safest bet. Did I even put it correctly? Yes, I did. Great. Now we have a moon pool that has legs in the air. I mean, not air, water. <laughs> I mean, it's just dangling there. So this is a mobile docking bay. It's where I put our vehicles in. First time docking, here we go. Oh, it's sucking us up. Nice. This is great. Now we have place for our Seamoth. It's even recharging, I think. I think I found one. Laser cutter fragment. Yes, first one. So they are in this biome right here. I need two more parts. I barely found this one. Finally, the last piece of the puzzle. We got all three laser cutter we got it we need two diamonds what i never even saw a diamond or maybe i did i think i saw one on the first island all right i'm here but where are the diamonds maybe inside these shale outcrops <laughs> yes here it is diamonds where are you going really you're not stopping are you come here so i need one more Shell, oh, that's lithium. And gold. Okay, so I need to break a bunch of these guys. It's random chance. Warning, emergency power only. Oh, crap. <laughs> totally forgot about putting stuff in this bioreactor. All right, do I have any stuff around? I think I have some organic things. Yep, acid mushrooms. Give me all of that. Wow, I'm so grateful to have this bioreactor. It just saved my ass. Personal tools, laser cutter. Here we go. Yes, look at that baby. Now I got all the tools I need. We just have to go back and cut open that damn door. Great stuff, now we can get in. Now please game, just don't make us spend another hour just to get some kind of tool to progress any further. Whoa, this place is really falling apart, and I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just going somewhere. Alright. Oh, jeez, so many tubes. Where am I going? Alright, let's, let's try to find a way. Oh, wow. Oh, I think I found a way. Yep. Wow, this whole scenery is so cool to look at. The whole place is just burning, waiting for us to come. And here we are. I just hope we have enough juice in our fire extinguisher. 100. And we have one more, I think. This one is 100 as well. What do we got in here? Storage module for what? What is this? A 4x4 storage locker. Seamoth or prawn? What is a prawn? I know what a seamoth is. And we just got a storage locker for it. Great. So this thing doesn't have any modules. And... This one either. Why am I even extinguishing this when I don't even get anything anymore? Am I reading that correctly or this is a locker room? Wow, there must be a lot of loot in there. How do I get this open? Damaged, damaged wiring. Use the repair tool. I got the thing just here. But I'll be damned. This is a locker room. Look at all these lockers. Can I open one individually? No, I can't. What is this? A battery. Yes, great. In disinfected water, yes. I am thirsty as hell. Give me that damn water. Abandoned PDA. Sweet offer from Hugson to Wilson. 
You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside? Well now, you've only gone and got yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. Come by their living quarters. Code 1869. Great stuff man, we just got another code. But for what door? Maybe this one? No? It's a sealed door. Cut open to access. We have a cutting tool right here. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. What kind of fish is this? Hello? What the hell did I just kill? A bleeder? Whoa! There's a bunch of them. Hello? Okay, I guess you're gonna experience the same fate. We'll all be damned. Seamoth Prawn Depth Module MK1. What the hell is this? Enhances safe diving depth by 100 meters for a Seamoth and 150 for a prawn. Does not stack. That's some great stuff we got there. The drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Really, this water is clearly touching the fire and it's not extinguishing it. <laughs> Good thing I got my extinguisher. All right, finally. Let's get into this damn room. What the hell is happening? Am I inside the floor? Really? How, how do I get up? There we go, finally. Wow, and I'm... Wow, this floor is so bugged. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Whoa, okay. These pillars look like some kind of nuclear reactor. And what kind of module is this? Cyclops engine efficiency module. New blueprint acquired. We don't even have this Cyclops. I'm not sure, but I think that's the mobile vehicle base you guys were talking about. And there's a hole right here. This hole reminds me of that hole in the base we had. Can we repair it? Nope, not the <laughs> laser cutter tool. Oh, we can. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. So we are repairing the Aurora. This is great stuff. So we have 10 more breaches to repair. So let's get to work. And the last one. That should be all. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. Yes, I did it. I saved Aurora. I mean, who am I kidding? It's still a wreck. Mm -mm, I can smell some loot in here. Cargo storage unit. I hope. I mean, there's cargo everywhere. So, yes. Disinfected water. It's like game knows what I need. Too bad I didn't bring any extra. Oh, nutrient block! Yes! Yes! Some water and some Vital nutrient blocks. Look at that. I'm full! Locked. Really? No, it's unlocked. <laughs> Great! I just had to click on it. And there's another supply crate and another battery. Hello there, battery, good old friend. Whoa. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Propulsion canyon fragment. I think I have this. Why am I even... Yep, I have it. I don't even need to scan it. Okay. Another battery. Are we outside? I think we are. Let's just take this. And... Yep, we are outside. What is this? Fire extinguisher. I'll need that definitely. And another first aid kit. And yes, now I know why the game gave me a first aid kit. Hello there, just give me my damn knife. Where's the knife? No, I dropped it. Uh, give me that. All right, where are you? What? You're supposed to jump. Oh. Yes. Really? What happened? What? Dude, just throw me away, but I... I think he died. <laughs> yes. Wow, these guys are so mean and strong. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Oh, oh these cave crawlers? So these crabs killed everybody on board. Wow, they're, they're savage. Come on, you stupid animal. Jump! Yes! Ah, <laughs> I got your ass! Oh my god, I nearly fell down. Abandoned PDA. Note to self. 
So, here we are. Finally, in open space. We crossed the galaxy to install a phase gate, to send ships to mine resources, to build more expensive ships, to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? And some notes here. Cargo bay code, 1454. Oh nice, I got another code. Living quarters. Oh. So the people lived in here. Look at all these blueprints, just ready for the taking. There's another PDA right here. Today's menu. So this was some kind of kitchen or a dining room. Keep calm, a poster. I'm gonna take that. Great loot. Please tell me I can loot all of these. Yes, I can. Filtered water, filtered water. Give me all of it. All the filtered waters. There's another one. So this is a disinfected water. Nutrient blocks. Yes, here they are. Is there anything else? No. Hello? Anybody alive? I don't think so. Everything is engulfed in flames. So, oh, especially this room. Well, let's get into this room. This room looks like it got something inside. Yep, I can see some lockers. All right, some lockers, just like I said. Abandoned PDA. Uh, Transgolf profile. Okay. Some batteries, and what is this? Carry all. Open storage. Oh, this is some kind of storage. I can even <laughs> carry it. Great, but I don't need it. Relationship contract legal recordings. This looks interesting. Oh, now I'm just spying on people. <laughs> hey, is this a poster? Yes, it is. A prawn suit poster. See. Man, I'm so glad I found this place. Look at all this loot. Another poster. Natural selection. Yeah, natural selection too. Poster. What do we have in here? A door with the code lock on it. All right, I hope we have the code. Hmm, maybe it's this one. Let's try 1869. 1869. It is. <laughs> I got it. So, hello. There's a PDA right here. Okay. Are there any posters or anything? What is this? Arcade Georgie toy. All right, what is this? Blue cap. Are you kidding me? I can wear a blue cap. It's just that my inventory is full. Ah, oh, so many batteries. Blue cap. Can I can I wear it? Nope, I can't. But I can put it here. What? What happened? Did I place it? Oh, I can place it. <laughs> but I don't want to place it here. I'm gonna place it at my base. And we found another door with the code lock on it. But I don't think I have the code for this one. Let's go to databank, sweet offer. I got only these threes. Cargo bay code, 1454. I really doubt it's this one. This doesn't look like a cargo bay. 1454. Nope, it's not. Just like I said. Oh, dang it. Hmm, this is a real shame. I searched this whole living quarters in detail and I couldn't find the PDA containing the code to that lock. It's probably found somewhere else anyway. Come on, let's get out of this place. And too bad. Looks like this is the end of our journey. Wait, wait a second. I, I got that icon down there. Oh, I can scan something. Prawn suit fragment. Oh, I totally forgot about this thing. One out of four. I wonder if I can get all four in here. There are two more prawn suits and I need three more fragments. Oh man, looks like I'm gonna have to find another fragment somewhere in, in the sea. All in all, I'm still grateful I got these three. That's the end of that. Let's get back home. Wait a second. There's a prawn suit right there. <laughs> yes, now I have a prawn suit. How cool is that? And there's another fragment right there. Maybe I'll get some necessary parts. <sighs> Finally back home. It was so claustrophobic inside Aurora that I couldn't wait to come back in here. We got a bunch of aid kits, some nutrient blocks, disinfecting water, regular water, and posters. A bunch of posters. And a blue cap and an arcade Georgie toy. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I can really do this. Wow, I can actually put posters on my nuclear reactor. 
Why not? Let's place one right here. And the last one uh, right here. <laughs> Look at that. All right, the cap or the Georgie toy goes right here in the corner. And the blue cap, can I rotate it? Yes, I can. Can I put it on this microscope? Nope. I can't, but I can put it on this simpler analyzer. <laughs> in Aurora, we found a bunch of blueprint, which most of them are cosmetic. But some of them are upgrade modules for our vehicles. Uh, Cyclops engine efficiency module, um, storage module, and Seamoth prawn depth module, MK1. Which are all great vehicle upgrades. Speaking of which, we also found that prawn suit blueprint. Epic exoskeleton designed for navigating alien environments on foot. Aluminium oxide crystals, plasteel aerogel. What are these things? I haven't even seen them before. Gel. Gel, gel. Can I even make that gel? I doubt it. I, I don't have the blueprint. <laughs> nice. Now, I have another message left on my radio that is probably a spaceship sunbeam coming to my rescue. But now, I think I'm just gonna sit here and chill a little bit. And as for you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate if you leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to support the channel even further, the Patreon link is in the description. That is all from me. Until next time, peace out.